Find the vector equation of the plane containing the point A, minus 5, minus 3, minus 2, and the line x plus 5 divided by 6 is equal to y minus 4 divided by 1, 2 minus x divided by 3. Right, first we need to write the uh, Cartesian equation of the line into vector form. So, first two bits are okay. These are right written like this. x plus 5 divided by 6, y minus 4 divided by 1. This one, we need to change a little bit. We need to rewrite it as z minus 2 divided by minus 3. So what we've done, we've taken out a minus sign there. We're going to have minus 2 uh, plus z. So we'll put that around the other side and then divide it by minus 3. Have written it like this, the directional vector is 6, 1, and minus 3. And the point we can get from doing the opposite signs of this, minus 5, 4, 2. Either that, or you just write them all these equal to lambda and rearrange them for the, each variable. Right. Here we have the axis, so we have here a point. Here is the point, and here is the line. So the line will be of the form minus 5, 4, 2, plus lambda, 6, 1, minus 3. Here is my point, and here is my line. So the point is going to be at minus 5, 3, minus, minus 2. Sorry, minus 5, minus 3, minus 2. Now, I know a point on the line because from here I have this point, which I know is a known point on the line, minus 5, 4, 2, which is here. And I know the equation of the line is going to be minus 5, 4, 2, plus lambda, 6, 1, minus 2. Now, I know the vector OA is going to be 5, minus 3, 2. The problem is I don't know this vector. I don't know the, the vector from this point to this point, but I can probably calculate it. But I already know that this vector here is going to be of the form lambda 6, 1, minus 3. And that comes from the equation of the line, because any point on the line is, is from that vector plus some multiple of that vector. So I already have one part of my vector equation. So what I've got to do is find this vector and make it a multiple of some parameter which I'm going to call mu and then I found the vector equation of the line. So I need to work out the vector AP which is going to be AO AO plus OP. So it's going to be change the sign of each of these so it becomes 5, 3, 2, 5, 3, 2 plus the coordinates of OP written in the form of a vector, so minus 5, 4, 2. So we're going to get 0, minus 5, minus 5, 0, 3 plus 4 is 7, 2 plus 2 is 4. So I now know that this vector here is a multiple of mu, 0, 7, 4. Now, the vector equation of the line is going to be OR, O to R, is going to be OA, plus some multiple of this vector here, mu AP, plus some multiple of this vector here, lambda 6, 1, minus 3, or lambda PR. So that's going to be, R will be minus 5, th minus 3, 2, plus mu times the one I just calculated, which is going to be 0, 7, 4, plus lambda times 6, 1, minus 3. Now we can have a look at this on this applet. These are the corresponding vectors. So we go from here to here, from here to here, and then from here to here. And that is the same as going from here from here, sorry, start again. We're going from here to here, 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 from here
from here to here and then from here to here and that is the same as going from here to here and then if I click it in here I can see I got a plane that contains the line and the point A which is this point here and if I move it around you can see that very clearly so move it to that angle there you can see this is the vector OR and again if I move the parameters I get all the other points in the plane all right and the vector PR is just parallel to the vector of, of the line all right so the only vector I need to calculate when I do this type of problem put this in here the only vector I need to calculate is the vector from here to the known point on the line so the known point given in the question to the known point given in on the line which I can find. Having done that, having found this, I could now proceed if I wanted to to write it in Cartesian form which I showed you how to do in the previous video.